So it's it's recording at the moment, OK. Well, a slide rule works by having a clever squashed scale that's based on logarithms. If you try measuring the width of your hand in one point there, you can see that the scale starts at 1, and so the width of my hand is 1.3. If I measure my hand up here from the 10, you can see that my hand is nearly 2, so my hand appears to be bigger. So the slidey scale is done in a special way. If I slide the middle scale, so this one lines up with the two here, and now the scale with the one, I move across until I get to, say, three. If I now look back onto the original scale, I can see the answer is six. So two times three is six. But actually what's happened is this slide is now telling me the whole of the 2 times table. So if I come back here, 2 times 2 is 4. If I go the opposite way, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 5 is 10. But of course that works yeah. even for decimals. So if I find 2, 3, 2.5, 2 times 2.5 is the answer 5. And so having got my slider into the position for 2, anything multiplied by 2 can be read off. And now I can even work the other way, so I can do, say, 1.3 times pi is 4 point, uh, that'll be 1, so 4.07, 4.08. So you can work to about three figures of accuracy with the reasonable machine. Now, does the slide rule does it only do multiplication, or does it, or would, if you want to do, you can reverse the process for for division. For division, um, right? And they would have extra scales on for things like sines and cosines and so on. So you don't have to, so you can do uh, trigonometry straight in, um, and you've got other scales that will let you work with powers of things. But what you can't do is add and subtract. Right. <laughs> Now, on this slide rule here, we've, you were using this scale here to do the multiplication, yep. and then we've got other scales yeah, as well. So I think that's probably sine and cosine and tangent, ah, I would think. Okay. That's great. Thank you.